Hello, my name is Ector. Welcome back to Sky Factory 4. Where are we, you might ask? Well, we are in the Lost Cities. In the Lost Cities, uh, and you get there via cake. Lost City, that's what the cake looks like. There you go. Not too bad. Um, and we're here, we're here because I, I need... It's, it's that time where that I dread every time I do a mod pack with applied energistics. It's that time where I need to start getting stuff together. Can I get into here? Yes. Let's get in. Uh, where I need to do some applied energistics. Uh, and for this, in this mod pack, it's a little bit different. A little bit different. I need to basically, I need some lithium and I need some boron. And apparently I can only get that here. So... What was it? Lithium, there you go. And uh, Twilight Forest and Lost Cities and Boron. So I thought I'd come here. And this is like, there's little domes. Little domes everywhere. Uh, Lost Cities are quite dangerous. Don't just go in all of these buildings if you're not prepared. You should definitely have flight because at least you can fly away. Uh, and it looks like, oh, there, there's a few, there's a few things. I don't know if we can see any. Oh, there you go. There's a spawner. Don't know what spawner it is. I can't actually tell. Oh, there's another spawner. So that's a spider one. I don't know what that is. Um, plenty of things. Oh, a zomble there. Office zomble. So, yeah, just be, be aware. Be aware of that. And you can see these guys, they're, like, attached to different domes via a, a rail network, which is fairly cool. Fairly cool. Let's have a look at this other one. So I'm just going to dig around, basically, in, until I find some. But I thought I'd show you a little. Wow, this is a long tunnel. This is a huge tunnel. Oh, oh, and it splits off. It splits off. Wow. Um, let's let's keep going. Let's keep. Oh, is that a is that a chicken? Yeah, a random chicken. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if I can. There we go. We've got another dome. What's this one? Sn is it snow? By the looks of it, on top. Oh no, it's just white. Just very white. It's another another standard thing. Okay, so I'm gonna do some digging probably. I'm just gonna have to do, I think, a little bit of mining. I don't I don't know if I've got another choice really um, <laughs> for for anything. So sadly, oh a lot of this is lit up. That is interesting. Like there's a lot of torches around, which is good because I didn't actually bring any, which was a bad idea. Oh, what's that? What's that? I don't know who that is. It looks quite mean. It's got a scarf, got a neckerchief. So, yeah, I will do some mining and then uh, we'll hopefully get round to doing some actual applied energistics. Right, I looked around the Lost Cities for a while uh, and then I've changed tack. Some of my lovely server members said uh, you might do better in the Twilight Forest because look at that. So the Twilight Forest is like weird islands and you can sort of see Look at this, you can sort of see everything a lot better. And look look at this, boron here, which is what we want. Did I get that? Yes, I did. And we also need a little bit more lithium. And lithium, I, I do, there it is. I, I keep finding other white type things, and it was a rock crystal from Astral Sorcery. But this is going to be a lot better. You can see, look, rock crystal, that is rock crystal. Looks a little bit similar. Um, now I know what I'm looking at. It doesn't. Uh, there we go. More lithium. So I don't think the rest of this should be too hard to do. Hopefully I can easily find some more boron. Ah, ha, ha. Boron. Lovely stuff. Boo. No. Boom. Do we get... There, there. There's the boom. There's the boom. Diamonds. Um... Diamond ore, you know what, even in modded, I still get like that little twinge of excitement. I, I can't, I can't help it. I see diamond ore and I'm like, <gasps> and then I realize I'm literally growing diamonds on trees. It does not matter. So, um, I just thought I'd mention Twilight Forest, good option for all of this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to get a few more, a few more bits and bats, and then we're going to put all of this stuff to good use. You might be wondering why we need it. Well, I will get to that in a second. Right then, we are starting applied energistics, and one thing we need to start is the inscriber so we need two of two pistons we should be able to do that fairly easily and they need to be sticky bam bam lovely stuff and then we need fluix crystal now in this pack slightly different than usual we can make it in uh, the metallurgic infuser which is rather nice so redstone uh red stone and uh, there we go a bit of that and i've got some of that in uh, is it here? 
Yes. Oh, and I probably should add some more of that just in case. So a metallurgic infuser, that is empty. Bam. Let's add all of that. And we can now make some fluids crystal, which is rather nice. Rather nice. So let's go back to Inscriber. Let's get just the one of these for now. We can always use more fluids crystal. There we go. Lovely stuff. And was that breaking bad? Very nice. Inscriber. Boom. There we go. So in order to use this, um, we need to make presses. So normally, in a normal world, you look around, you look around the world and find meteors where these might be in inside uh, chests inside in the middle of meteors. But in this pack, we do things slightly differently, of course. And we need a cobblestone circuit mod. We'll be consuming one currency mold, and you can see we need to do that in the inscriber. So we need to put a chisel. Really weird. Any kind of chisel and cobblestone. So let's make another chisel. Uh, have I got any cobble? Uh, no. There we go. Uh, and I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. And let's put that. If it's going to work with the flux mod. I have no idea. It looks like it might. Let's see. Are, are you doing it? Have you done it? Mm, doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. Are you going to do it? Oh. It is doing it. It is doing it. Maybe this doesn't need power, but it looks like it does. I don't know. I don't know. There we go. We've got that. So what do we do with this? Well, we need a clearly we need a few. Actually, we need four of these uh, as there are four presses. So one of them is iron. One of them is steel. Then we have ferroboron, which is molten steel and molten boron. And then we have the tough alloy, which is ferroboron and lithium. So that's why I need it to go to Lost Cities and um, Twilight Forest to get these things because otherwise we can't do that. And basically it looks like it looks like we just literally let's come in, let's do this. What have I put in here? Uh, what have I put? Steel. One block of steel. So actually I should be able to do this. Put that over there like that. Do that. Uh, chuck the iron in. That should do a thing. Basically, this should do a proper thing. Um, let's have a look. Let's get another couple of these. Uh, so one. Now, <laughs> the annoying thing is with this as well is that you can't. The inscriber, ugh, such a pain because you can only put one thing in at a time. There we go. Bam, bam. Get a few of these, and hopefully we should have we should have one of these. Have we done it? Have we done it? Yes, we've got to press. Ah, and actually that stays there. I didn't think that would stay there at all. I thought that would actually. So we only need one of those. Excellent stuff. So I can start to make some um, some boron, ferroboron, and uh, tough alloy. It's basically the same thing. Right then, I have all of the presses, and I've got them set up in this little thing. So I've made another three inscribers. And each of these has one of the presses in. So nice and simple, lovely stuff like that. Then here, what I have is a place where I can just dump stuff like that in. I've got a server on there that is just turned on. And then each of these is connected uh, by item ducts. And then on this little thing here, I put a filter and I basically whitelist each of these. And actually, I haven't done this one yet because I need to find that out. There we go. So you can see that all filters hopefully the correct thing in. And then on the other side, this is the exit and I've got a retrieval, uh, a retrieval kind of servo, a retriever it's called. And there you go. We get all of those kind of coming down in here. Now, this is the only one I don't have yet. And that is because if we look, it is we need a nether quartz seed and then use that in an enrichment chamber and it grows up. So this is a little bit different to standard stuff, uh, which is nice. Uh, I'm OK with that where oh, I don't have any of this yet. There we go. Let's do that again. Like, like that. Yes. 46 of them right now. Then we put that in there and basically that grows up. So normally what you have to do, this is a lot more faffy in normal things. And it's been kind of stripped back uh, applied energistics too, which is very, very nice because I prefer refined storage. I'm a refined storage man. It's a lot simpler and uh, I'm, I'm liking, I think this is like a lot better. So we do the same here. So basically come here, set this to a white list and then just do that. There you go. And now if we put this in here, that should at some point find its way into here. 
uh, and then we should get it should end up being in here which is rather nice it's slow this is slow and um, if you wanted it to be faster you'd have to upgrade the item ducks and the servos but for me for now this is just you know a, a lot a lot easier a lot easier to just kind of leave it and do just stuff like this so the next stage the next stage is uh, I need like things like the ME drive and you can see obviously the next thing is I need to actually put all of these together so I need possibly another few inscribers or at least just one inscriber to start putting these things together uh, and getting things like the crafting terminal uh, I need a disk drive and I need some I probably could already make some of this quartz fire. yeah I probably could make a little bit of that already I'm crushing a lot of quartz because uh, I need it. And then it's weird because we don't need the ME drive. That is also not in this pack because uh, the channels have been switched away. If you don't know what channels are, then if you're playing this, don't worry about it. If you're playing another pack, you might have to go elsewhere to get a bit of a more of a sense of what channels are. And then basically what you need are these cells. So... Yeah, the the whole a whole other thing, and these are basically like disk drives that you can store items on, and you can sort of see that there. The bigger the bigger they are, the more stuff that they can store on there. Now, thankfully, one of my lovely people uh, gifted me one uh, for helping out with something. So I've got a 64 me storage cell right here. But what we're also going to do is obviously I want to use these filing cabinets, crates, and shipping containers. So we need to sort that out as well. And the way we do that is where are where is it where is it i need export bus uh no import bus no in me interface storage bus there we go that's what we need and that will allow us like these uh, link cables storage link cables that will allow us to see other inventories within our me system so that's what i'm kind of doing have we got one of those there there we go we've got a printed so calculation circuit as well so i'm going to start the process of making all of this and then of course all of this needs a little bit of power as well and i don't know if we might need an energy acceptor perhaps i don't know i'm gonna to have to look i'm gonna to have to look at that because i'm not used to having this system without an me drive it's gonna be a bit off right then i've got another one set up now which is basically uh just just making um like all the other normal ones. Ah, have I not got any more in here? No, I have not. You can see I'm like making a load and let's do that. Let's do that many. Um, about that many, there we go. So what I do is I put all of these in here like that. This has still got redstone in it and then I use an upper, which is an upside down hopper, there we go, to feed that into the bottom, uh, like that. And I made some acceleration cards, which speeds up the process a lot, as you can see. Um, and to make those, a bit of Fluix and an advanced card, and an advanced card is one of these, and a calculation processor. So, not too bad. Oh, hey, <laughs> almost, almost then. And you can see I'm making these, and like not hugely fast, but they are... They are going. They are going at a, a decent rate. Now, I've made an energy acceptor and an ME drive, uh, and I'm basically I'm on my way to making an ME crafting terminal, and that is basically one of these setups. So, um, I need an ME terminal, which means I need a few other things like annihilation core. There we go, and a formation core. There we go, and then we need what is it? An ME terminal, which is an illuminated panel, uh, so I think I need some of that. There we go. And illuminated panel. There we go. Bam. That does that. Okay, so now I should be able to make an ME terminal. Lovely stuff. And if you're not following this, I mean, JEI should help you. And there you go, the crafting terminal. Bam. Okay, so have I got all of these things? Basically, yes. So the only things I don't have are the uh, the cell, which is like a battery, but for applied energistics, and a 1K storage cell, which I haven't got set up yet either. Now then, I basically need to put this somewhere. Um, let me, let's move you away out for right now. Let's also move you, there we go. Let's put you there. Uh, oh, hang on. Mm. 
That doesn't work. That does not work. Oh, well, maybe it does. Maybe we do that there like that. Put you on there like that. That works. This is the crafting terminal like that. Excellent stuff. Let's get that cell and this is how you kind of bob them in once you're done there we go now this isn't doing anything yet because this hasn't got power so we need to give it some power i believe i think anyway the fact that it was a one of the advancements makes me think ooh, can i there we go makes me think that i probably do need that there you go that is now green and we have a working system there we go so very very simple uh, as long as it's touching that will be getting power. Uh, and I think you can also do them with the Fluix cable, just the regular Fluix glass cable. No need to get too fancy. And then that is basically that, like this is. Now, Applied Energistics is a little bit more advanced than Simple Storage Network, which this kind of name implies a little bit. We can start to put stuff in like that. And then this, well, there you go. So 3,593 bytes of however many. And you can see now, and this is the limit. One of the limitations of uh, applied energistics. It says seven out of sixty-three types. So you can see there are seven different types of item. And you can only have sixty-three types on every single one. So no matter how big they are, they can only hold sixty-three types. So that is a little bit of a limitation. So one thing we can do like the simple storage network is basically to have like a an outside storage kind of thing uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try and make one of those and I'm pretty certain is it the storage bus or is it in an interface I need to figure that out but that's what we're gonna do next I was right it was the storage bus so what you do basically you you point it at the inventory that you want and then you just hook it up with the cable so make sure it's attached to you know either this side of the cable anything that is applied energistics basically that's attached to this part of the system uh, attach it to that and you will be able to see everything and like simple storage you can sort by different things uh, so mod item name or number of items I tend to do number of items I like that and that is auto crafting, which we will get into at a later time. Don't worry about that now. Up or down. Um, then the search box mode, which does different things. Have a play around with that because basically you can set it to be independent from the JEI search if you so wanted. It's sort of up to you. Uh, and then lastly, tall or small box. I prefer the tall one. And then these things do different things, but don't worry about that. That's basically how this works. And you can see I've um, I've also attached one to our shipping container. So I've got all of these things as well. Now, the problem comes now with all of these, all of these crates that we have here, basically, basically don't really work for us anymore. Because um, the barrels mod doesn't have like a central item with which to access all of these like storage drawers does and we can't just add a storage bus to this we'd have to basically add one of these to each one like we did the simple storage network now this is a lot more expensive though i mean it would be doable but it's a lot 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 more expensive uh, to sort out so i think what we're going to do is we're going to move over to filing cabinets filing cabinets are an interesting little thing they are very very cheap uh, so if we look, filing cabinets, there we go, very cheap. So iron bars and then a chest basically in the middle. So if you go through, you can see, there we go, you saw a chest there. It's not shulker boxes particularly, it is a chest. Um, and they fit in each filing cabinet has eight fol filing folders that you can put in. So what you do is, for instance, and I think I have one somewhere, there we go, filing, yes, I have some. There we go, um, let us... I've got one in there for oak wood, but I would, let's make one for cobble. Let us make one for cobble. There we go. So, um, what you do, you take your filing cabinet and then whatever you want to put in there, you, you kind of combine it with that item. You can see now that's got a little red mark on it like that. And then you put that in there. Oh, sorry about that. My uh, my recording hard drive was full up. I had no idea it was that full. So, as I was saying, you make this and then you open it up. Just open it up uh, by clicking on it. On it. <laughs> can I? 
Can I click on the actual thing? There we go. Like that, you can just open it up and then you put the folder in there and then you can pretty much close it again. And then what you can do, you can see I've got 32 cobblestone and 740 oak. You can basically just click stuff on and it, it sort of does its thing. Um, and this has an absolutely gigantic, like absolutely huge, huge, um, storage facility like it can store millions of items i don't i think the limit is actually basically i think panda told me our, our lovely panda uh told me it was the actual um the stack limit and why is this not going in here what is going on it's i'm getting weird things i wonder if it's because i'm attached to this actually it might be might be being a little bit weird let's take that off for a second there we go there we go so it's 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 better than the barrels basically, but you can only fit in eight folders to each filing cabinet, and you kind of have to craft it. So there's a lot of a lot more work, but I think I think we'll be moving over to that. I think it'll just be better. Uh, there we go. Now it is working. I think the storage link cable was um, freaking out. I think it was just going to there. So that will be it. We have a very very simple uh, applied energistics setup now. Now we have flight, and we have a better well. We will have a better um, inventory system and uh, storage system. I will start, we will start, we will start making everything look a little bit nicer. Now I have the basics. For me, it's always the storage and flight. And I feel like once we have that, we can basically, you know, we can go anywhere and do anything and not have to worry about it too much. So now we have that started, I think we'll we'll start doing some... Some nicer builds, which I'm, I've been looking forward to, but I wanted to get, you know, a good base set up first. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it might have helped out a few people as well. If it did, liking, commenting, and subscribing are lovely things that you can do to help out the channel. And if not, I will hopefully see you in the next one. I've been Hector. This has been Sky Factory 4. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.